Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Moralist tutorial video. My name is Vasily, I'm your web instructor, and today we are going to talk about a really important topic, security, or the Streams API. You might already know that using Moralist Streams is the fastest and better way to get all the information from any event on the blockchain for a given smart contract, such as the transactions of a token, or maybe when a new NFT is minted. Here on my admin panel, I have a demo stream I just created, which is taking the address for Tether USDT, and this stream is basically is listening to the transfers for this token and is filtering all the transfers, which has a value greater than $50,000. This stream is going to send the information over to a web hub URL, which I just provided over here. And here the things can get interesting and also trickier because this webhook URL is something which is outside Morales and is something that you as a developer might be controlling. For me, this webhook URL I have here, I just created it using ngrock and it's connected to a simple JavaScript parameter which is going to listen all the post requests we are going to send to that webhook URL. So using this domain ngrock provide us, we can just set up this on our Morales admin panel. However, someone else might have this exact URL and can send you post requests which are not coming directly from Morales. For example, here on my postman, I'm going to send to this URL a value and I'm going to fake a transaction from this account to this account. So if I click on send, I got an actual 200 status. This means that everything went okay. If I go back to my terminal, I hear that the information appears here, the supposed value and the supposed wallet this transaction came from. Of course, this is just an example and I just sent over here three values, but a potential attacker will try to take this information and try to make it as similar as the Morales response. That's why we need a secure way to ensure all the information we are getting on the webhook comes actually from Morales. That's why on the documentation we have this webhook security. And of course, you are going to find this link on the video description. Don't forget to check it out. And here we have a simple function we can add to our code to verify a signature. When Morales sends a post request to your webhook, on the headers, we have this parameter called X signature, and we generate that signature using your Web3 API key. So it's unique for each stream and each account. So let's copy this sample function and apply it into our code. I'm going to copy this here, go back to my Visual Studio and paste that function over here. This function requires two parameters. First of all, the request, the request that we already have it here on the webhook and secret refers to your API key. This function first of all verifies if the post request actually sending an X signature on the headers and after that using the web3 package it takes the body of the request plus our API key to generate a new signature and then it compares the new generated signature with the provided one on the request. So let's provide our API key over here. As a storing your API keys into your code is a security risk, I'm going to use the library .m to store the API key here on this .m file. As you can see here, I already have it. So let's take that .m config and let's create a new variable called API key. Const API key equals to process .m .moralis API key. So now we already have the request and the API key, and the only thing left is to import web3 so let's do it Cons web3 require web3 and remember if you don't have the web3 library installed you can just use a yarn add web3 to your project and that's it now we have all the information we need to verify if the post request actually comes from Morales so we just have to use this function over here before anything let's paste this over here and let's send the request and the API key. So now let's suppose we are again a potential attacker. I'm going to try to send over again this request. So let's click on send it and I have a internal error message. So let's check the terminal 
and it seems, oh, signature is not provider. So me as a potential attacker will say, okay, I have to send that signature. So I'm going to go here to my postman on the headers. I'm going to actually try to send that signature, ex signature. And as I don't have access to the API key of the owner of this webhook, I'm just going to send a random generated string trying to guess that signature. So let's try to send again this fake information. Let's click again on send and we got the same error, internal server error. Let's check the terminal. Ah, oh, and we got the actual response we wanted, invalid signature. Because again, this signature over here depends 100% on your API key. And as you already know, you don't have to show it to anyone and you must always keep your API key secret. And this is the way we ensure the information we are getting through this webhook actually comes from Morales. So let's try it. Here on my streams, I have this stream which is paused. Let's just activate it. Now this stream is running, so we can return to our terminal. And here on the terminal, as you already see, we are getting all the information we wanted for these transactions. And we are not getting any error because all the information which is coming from Morales is passing through this verify signature function, which is verifying all the information is legit. And of course, you will notice that the actual Morales response is giving you a lot more information rather than the example I just made. But remember, an attacker with really bad intentions is going to try to mimic this response. And if you don't secure the source of information is actually coming from Morales, you might encounter some problems. But as you saw, the process actually was really easy because we just need a small function to verify all the information actually came from Morales. And we did it in almost no time. How cool is that? Before finishing this video, you might notice that on the thumbnail we have the Python logo. Because yes, we can adapt this function to any other programming language we have. And today I want to show you how you can accomplish the same verification on the Pythonic way. So here I just created a simple web hub using flags, which is also going to take that request. And here I import in a function called verify signature. Here on services.py, I have the actual function. So it's going to be quite the same as the first one. Here I'm maintaining the Morales API key from the environment variables, checking the signature, writing an exception if no signature is given, and also using some JSON formatting magic on Python to get the key generated. We are using on this time web3.py to make the same generation as we did over here on the JavaScript version. And again, if the signature is not verified, we are going to raise an exception. So here on my postman, again, I'm going to connect to this new ng rock webhook. Let's click on send it. And we got the same internal server error. Now we see that the error is telling us that the signature is invalid. And this was quite easy. Now you know how to do it using JavaScript and Python. And that was it for today's tutorial. Don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo. So check out the link on the description. And as you are already here, click over here to subscribe to Morales channel, turn on the notifications, and also check out more videos. Thanks for watching till the end and see you on the next occasion.